Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and the class of 2020. My name is Dr. Giovanna San Martin, and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of Renton High School. On behalf of the Renton School District, welcome to our virtual commencement exercises for the 108th graduating class of Renton High. It is now my honor to introduce Francisco Hernandez, who will sing our national anthem. At this time, please welcome Alicia Lee in to the stage for our opening remarks. Though I wish I was with you all under different circumstances, I am humbled and grateful for the opportunity to speak to you all today as part of our graduation ceremony. I want to begin by acknowledging the teachers and staff of the Renton High School, District Administration and School Board for their steadfast dedication to our success. To the families and loved ones of all of our graduates, especially my own, Mama, Papa, and Chiche, there will never be enough words to thank you for your sacrifice and unconditional love. Arriving at this point has been anything but easy for us, and we sincerely thank you for all you have done in supporting us. Class of 2020. Do you remember how walking into Renton High for the first time, we were all so excited about how cool our graduating year sounded? Back then, all the 2020 vision jokes were still fresh. None of us knew how to drive, and we were all too busy navigating a maze of staircases and hallways to realize that time was flying by. We had our first taste of multi together, learned what the word agape meant, and stumbled through the words of the alma mater at assemblies. Before we knew it, a couple years had passed, and all of our firsts from freshman year began turning into lasts during our senior year. All the milestones that I'd been fantasizing for years in my head were finally happening right in front of my eyes. But little did we know that our last time walking through those hallways would be in March, not June. It seems that our senior year has come to a screeching halt. Week after week, as dates were pushed back, canceled and delayed, it began to dawn on us that we may never step foot on campus as students ever again. Shocked, confused, and disappointed, we were all left with the same questions. Why me? and why us? With an unfamiliar abundance of time spent alone with my own thoughts, I too had to come to certain realities. I've always been someone who is motivated by achievement, by those moments in life where you look back and you think it was all worth it in the end. But as we all know now, life is unpredictable and nothing is promised. I began to think, what was the point of all of those late nights up studying, countless reps on the track and in the weight room, and hours spent planning fundraisers and performances. What I finally came to realize was, if we define our happiness and our success by the endpoints of our journeys, we will live our entire lives not once finding satisfaction. I'm not gonna stand here and recycle cliches like everything happens for a reason or everything is gonna be okay in the end, but I refuse to allow our entire high school experiences to be defined by circumstances that are out of our control. We don't get to choose what life throws our way. 
but we do get to choose how we respond. I want to leave you all with this thought. Exactly 100 years ago, a student by the name of Henry Moses graduated from Renton High School as a part of the class of 1920. From being ridiculed and mocked for his Native American heritage to becoming a pillar immortalized in Renton's legacy, Henry Moses' life was defined by his resilience. And there's not a single student in this graduating class that does not embody that same ideal. We are no stranger to hardship but that also means we are no stranger to overcoming it. Class of 2020, we have laughed together, we have cried together, and today we will graduate together. And through all we have endured, carrying the weight of the world and the legacies of our families on our shoulders, I want you all to know that as a member of the Renton High School, Class of 2020, you never walk alone. Now go forth with pride in your hearts, honoring the traditions that have shaped you and in pursuit of true excellence. Because with a support system as strong as the one that we've shared over the past four years, there are no limitations to what's possible. With time, we'll be able to look back at this period of our lives and reminisce, not with heavy hearts, but with proud smiles. So thank you, Class of 2020, for being part of my story. And I hope that I've become a small part of yours. It is my privilege to introduce Kaylin Apollonio, who is our second student speaker of the evening. Hello, family, friends, staff, and my fellow classmates. It is an honor to speak with you all today as we celebrate this special moment in our high school experience. As everyone knows, we are unable to have a prom, a senior game, a senior sunset, or even a traditional graduation, all of which we were expecting since 
the beginning of our high school lives. Yet, I still remember all the fantastic events we had before this pandemic started, such as our last homecoming and seeing people make it to districts or state one final time. I remember my dad saying how the, track, or how the mile and track is somewhat similar to high school. Four laps where each lap is very much like a year in high school, each lap with its own unique challenges. The first lap is all new and you're trying to find out your pace. This is like finding what clubs or sports you want to do. I remember in my freshman year, I was overwhelmed by the amount of clubs and sports that they were advertising during Tribes Day. But I chose cross country because that was my pace and my first connections with people at Renton High. The second lap is where life gets serious and you find your pace, whether it is it was finishing your classwork on time or even considering the options for your future career. The third lap is the hardest and most tiring, in my opinion at least. You want to finish high school already, but you need to keep up your pace. And there are points where you want to drop out, but you stay on track and you remember what you want for your future. Finally, the last lap is you expecting the end, so you sprint to the finish. However, our class did not experience that final lap. It went as if we suddenly passed out in the middle of the track and could not finish it. This was like our class being excited for the marquee high school memories of prom and graduation, but not being able to have them. But it's not over yet. Just because we look forward to the end does not mean we give up just yet. We remember, you remember that you have a race to finish, so you get up and go back to full speed. There's this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. and it went something like this. If you can't fly, then you run. If you can't run, then you walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. This is how I think about the ending of our senior year. Despite the pandemic, this pandemic going on and the precious moments being canceled, it is not the end yet because we all get back eventually and keep going. As we close this chapter in our lives, we will always begin a new one, whether it is you going to a university in or out of state or to a community college, off to the military, or into the workforce, you will always remember this special moment in your life as being part of the Renton High School. Before I end this speech, I would like to thank everyone for supporting our class through all the hardships that we have gone through. I've seen many teachers and staff show dedication and commitment towards their students every day. Families and friends for being there during our toughest times. The IB program, which, made, which have made many students cry, but show them what it is like to put 110% effort into schoolwork. As well as the Running Start program for teaching students what it is like to be independent and gain real college experience. And I would also like to thank the frontline workers for enduring these difficult times. And last but not least, I would like to personally thank the Renton High School Class of 2020 for enduring the past four years of high school. If you think about it, we were able to complete our senior year while in a pandemic. And just like after finishing the mile, no matter how you finished, everyone congratulates and supports each other as a class. I know everyone will succeed in incredible careers and pathways, and I hope one day we will all bond together and celebrate our accomplishments, whether it is next year or many years from now. And just remember that even if you did not finish the race you wanted it to be, you will, there will always be another. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my home. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds they can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my a million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see, a 
It is now my honor to introduce Dr. Damian Patenot, superintendent of the Renton School District, who has special remarks for the class of 2020. It is truly an honor to participate in tonight's virtual graduation ceremony. Now, one of the great things about graduations is that it presents a chance to say thank you. A thank you to those who helped you along your journey, or a thank you to those whose support never wavered. And the first group I want to thank are the people watching this evening that have helped this year's graduates of Renton High School to get to where they are today. To the parents, guardians, extended family and friends, on behalf of the Renton School District and Renton High School, thank you for your love, time, support, encouragement, and discipline that you have provided over the years, which was even more critical during these last three months. Another group deserving a sincere thank you is the outstanding staff at Renton High. When the school year started, none of us could have predicted what would have happened in March. Yet, you adjusted, persevered, and put every ounce of your energy towards ensuring that tonight's graduates would earn their diplomas. Graduates and families, I truly hope you understand and appreciate the dedication that the staff at Renton High School, as well as throughout the Renton School District, has brought each day which has been even more impressive during this closure. I am blessed to have the opportunity to serve as their superintendent, and it is my great pleasure to say thank you to them. And now to the reason why we're here, the seniors. And I wanna begin by acknowledging the elephant in the room. I know that this is not the graduation experience you hope to have this June, and I want to sincerely apologize for not being able to hold a traditional ceremony. Now, graduations, whether traditional or virtual, symbolize the transition from childhood to adulthood. In some ways, your transition to adulthood happened before tonight. Over the last three months, you have learned that life can change in an instant. Some of you have lost loved ones. Some of you have lost jobs or your family members are currently unemployed. Additionally, over the last three weeks, you have seen cities burn as our nation continues to wrestle with the scourge of racism and our failure to recognize the worth and dignity of each American, especially black Americans. However, I would also argue that you have learned that since tomorrow was promised for no one, that you must seek to get all you can out of life. 
you have learned that you should take the time to express your love and appreciation to family and friends. And you have learned that it takes a community coming together to support those in the community who have the greatest needs. From tragedy or challenge comes reflection, and from reflection comes a renewed focus and sense of purpose, as well as the opportunity to act. Tonight's graduation is one of several transitions you have already made and representative of many more that you will have in your life. While you should definitely hold on to the exuberance and energy of youth, I want you to also be ready to face a world that might be cold and unwelcoming at times. This is why our community and nation need your generation more than ever. While it is not uncommon to hear older people complain about younger people or younger generations, the reality is, is that it is your generation that has an opportunity to improve on the failings of prior generations, including my own. For the next 60 to 70 to 80 years, it is you that can help us realize our nation's ideals that all too often have only been realized by a small minority of our citizens. No matter the challenges we face today, we will surmount them and move forward. However, it is you who will help ensure that we do so in a manner that fosters greater justice for all. Renton High School Class of 2020, move forward with pride, honor and create tradition, and turn your excellence into action on behalf of others. I wish you the very best. Congratulations. I have no doubt that the graduating class of 2020 will go very far. I am familiar with some of their personal stories and challenges, and this class has already surpassed my expectations, way prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. You will hear people emphasizing that you are the first class graduating under these circumstances. True, but your principal is here to remind you that you were already remarkable. As a group of intelligent young men and women, there are two ideas you must consider as you conclude your high school career. What is it that you are good at? And what is it that you are passionate about? You will make the most difference when you combine your abilities with your passion. I'm not going to tell you that life will be easy because it will not be. In fact, the world you inherit is even more challenging than the one inherited by some of our previous graduates. However, I believe your class has what it takes to surpass the previous ones. Here are the facts. I am delighted to announce that the graduating class of 2020 has collected $3,700,000 in scholarships for continuing their education. Per local calculations, the graduation rate stands at 96%, and 60% of our graduates are confirmed to transition to post-secondary education and employment. The above accomplishments the above accomplishments were attained while most students were employed after classes and weekends. You have made it evident that you possess the necessary resiliency to push yourself forward regardless of any difficulties. Your fortitude amazed me. We are facing a typical times. One can be forgiven for moments of pessimism. It is honest to say that at this moment, I know what's in your hearts. You have worked so hard to come this far, and rightfully so, you look forward to celebrations that have inevitably been taken away. However, your class must not forget that extraordinary times also present an opportunity to create extraordinary histories. We might have to do without celebrations now, but take reassurance in the fact that everyone placed their hopes on you to address the many challenges facing the world. This can only mean that they acknowledge your astonishing potential and they respect your commitment to equity and justice for all members of our society. I know these words might not bring immediate gratification, still, 
There will be many other uplifting narratives and life experiences waiting for you to unveil them. Many of those narratives are worth waiting for and will renew this moment of emptiness. Never give up. No matter what obstacles you face, because there is no obstacle big enough to withstand your courage, perseverance, and passion, nor your current and future accomplishments. We are here cheering you on as you enter the next phase of your life. Your family is so proud of you. Their love and support are forever unconditional and the best gift you will ever have. Be grateful, always. Uncertainty is a fact of life. We do not know how this COVID-19 pandemic will play out in the coming months. The future might be uncertain, but we are quite certain about the future we desire. You all have tremendous potential. However, there is a danger in assuming that one can achieve all one desires on their own. Maya Angelou said, nobody can make it alone. Her message conveyed that as humans, we need each other if we are to make it through life. Our individual dreams and skills matter, but one should never forget that we can achieve a lot more together than individually. This pandemic reminds us that society functions well due to the selfless services of individuals from a diverse range of professions. Let us make a pledge today that you will utilize your God-given talent in the service of our fellow citizens because we all prosper when our fellow citizens prosper. I can only hope that during the past four high school years, we model a vision of equity and justice, knowledge and inquiry, compassion and empathy for all, and that it steers your future steps. The future is going to be better than the present because the future will be modeled by you, the wisest class I have had the privilege of knowing. You are unforgettable, just as you are. Greetings, the Renton High graduating seniors. It is both my pleasure and honor to be with you today to help celebrate your huge milestone. With this, while this observance does not follow our traditional celebration, it does not in any way diminish the pride and joy we hold for you and your family over your accomplishments. We are also proud of you graduates. Congratulations. As you move forward to the next chapter of your future, it's not too early for you to reflect on your legacy and what that might be for your community and your country. Maybe you're the first in your family to leave for college or the military, or maybe you're embarking on the world of work. How might you seize whatever opportunities are ahead for you on your new journey to determine your future? Perhaps you have goals of returning to Renton to be an educator for our district or venture into the field of medicine, business, or politics. Whatever your dreams may entail, what will be your legacy? You are graduating in one of the most pivotal and turbulent moments that the world has ever seen. Your strength and courage will shape future generations ahead. When I look at you, I see boundless potential leaders. You are all capable of becoming role models, leaders who inspire others. I would challenge you to take with you what you've learned in the values with the Renton schools, your communities, and your families, and lead with inspiration and compassion. Carry yourself with class. Always use your voice with no fear to speak the truth. You're graduating during quarantine, yet the world is yours to shape or reshape. Make it one of peace, justice, compassion, equality, prosperity, and hope. On behalf of the Renton School Board, I offer our heartfelt congratulations to the Renton High Class of 2020. Director Teal, as the principal of Renton High School and by the power vested in me by the Renton School District Board of Directors and the State of Washington, I am pleased to present the 108th graduating class of Renton High School and certify that they have met all districts and state requirements for graduation. 
On behalf of the Renton School District Board of Directors and by the power vested in me by the State of Washington, it is my privilege to accept the 109th graduating class of Renton High School. Congratulations, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the class of 2020.
Class of 2020, now please join me in the turning of the tassels. <laughs> 